What's up, one saying? It's your boy, Summon Explorers, back again. I'm here today once again at Buchanan bus station here in Glasgow City Centre. Today, I'm going to be heading out into Paisley from Glasgow City Centre. We're going to be testing out the first bus and also looking at the McGill's bus on the way back. You make your judgment. What would you use? Um, which do you think is better? Which has the better buses? Which one is quicker? I don't know. There's not really much different, but we're going to try it out. I've just missed the bus. The next bus is in 15 minutes. So we're just going to head on to that one. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Glasgow City Centre to Paisley is a fiercely competed transport corridor. The two locations are around 11 kilometres from each other as the crew flies and is served by rail via ScotRail and by bus via First Bus and McGill's bus service. This video will compare the two bus companies, which are actually the city's biggest two. Firstly, I'll be trying out the first bus Route 9, then comparing it to McGill's Route 38. Running from Buchanan Bus Station, the city's main bus terminus, First Bus 9 alternates with the 9A, which also runs from here, travels along the same route as the 9, then diverging off, heading towards Penley and Brayhead Shopping Centre. The 9 runs up to every 15 minutes to Paisley, with the 9A adding capacity on the main corridor. These routes run on a fleet of all-electric Alexander Dennis BYD Enviro 200 buses. We depart Buchanan by reversing out. Heading right onto Kellermont Street. And down Renfield Street. Past Socky Hill Street. And down past Central and Four Corners. We cross the Clyde at Glasgow Bridge to the south side and head to Paisley. On our way to Paisley, we'll pass through Tradeston, Cessnock, Ibrox, Monlachilly, Cardonald, and into Paisley around 45 minutes later. It's important to note that between town and Paisley, the 9 and 38 essentially use the same route, and I'll note some of the impacts of that later on. Till 2014, the 9 actually used to run through Paisley out to Johnston, five miles down the road, basically shadowing the current McGill's 38. But was cut due to low passenger numbers in that section. To be fair, First Bus 9 sticks out like a sore thumb when it heads out to Paisley, as it's the only first route that heads out into that direction. This is important when it comes to ticketing. On this day, I travelled using the Glasgow Tripper ticket, which allows for unlimited day travel across a number of Glasgow's bus companies over a certain area. If you were to get a single, you'd be looking at £2.85. On the first bus app, you'd also be able to get a day ticket for the 9 and 9A for only £3.90. And don't forget, concessionary passes travel for free, which makes up most of the city's off peak bus patronage, basically. The one thing about this travel corridor is that for the average Joe that may not have a zone card or a concessionary pass, you're basically bound by what company your ticket is valid for. If you've got a first ticket, you can't get a McGill service and vice versa. Imagine you don't see a 9 for like 45 minutes, but then 738s and a Rogue 38A pass by you and you can't afford to get a new ticket. It's a drawback of a lack of integration. As you'll find out, McGill's has different fares for the same journey and to make the most of using the bus, you'll need to actively plan what routes you may want to use in your trip train with McGill's dominating Paisley and first dominating Glasgow. Each of these factors add up to making the bus a more complicated and more inconvenient method of travel for the average fellow that doesn't give two shreddies about buses, they just want to go to Big Tesco. 
Hopefully with the Tripper's addition to the travel apps, it can make it much easier to travel by bus around the city. I've got a lot of love and a lot of hate for the city's bus network. There's so much promise that just hasn't been tapped into, which could fill them buses and get more people out their cars. You know what, yeah? If one of the big bosses watches my video, big up to you, shout out you. Anyways, the 9A branch is off here at Cardonald, off to Penley and Brayhead. We continue down Paisley Road into Paisley Town Centre. Heading further on down, propping us off here on Story Street, right next to the University of West of Scotland campus. Boom, so I've just got off the nine, the first bus nine at the last stop here in Paisley. I'm gonna be going back into Glasgow using the McGill's 38, which is the main bus route that goes down from Paisley into Glasgow. And I'll also be chatting about the other options that you have when you're using McGill's to get back into Glasgow from Paisley. Paisley is probably Glasgow's biggest commuter town. I'd say it hasn't got the best reputation out there, you know. Bexley Park, a suburb of the town down the road, is noted to be Scotland's most deprived area, as seen by the Scottish Index of Multiple Deprivation. Nevertheless, I'm in the town centre. It's looking alright today, it's looking nice, it's looking peaceful, it's nice and sunny. And as you see here, McGill's basically rules this part of the world and all I see are blue and white everywhere. With what I mentioned earlier about tickets, the main trend you do see here is that passengers would only have tickets for the company that they're connecting onto from the 38 or the 9, if you get what I mean. And that's where you find occasions where some people might let two or three buses go past because it's not the one they've got the ticket for, which can easily mess up travel plans. But, you know, hey, that's competition for you. Well, to be fair, back in COVID, there was a time when both McGill's and First accepted each other's tickets on the 9 and 38, just to, you know, get people a bit more spread it out, you know, social distancing and all that stuff, but not anymore, of course. In all honesty, if I was living in Paisley and working in Glasgow, I'd be locked and loaded with a McGill's ticket, I can't lie. McGill's run a number of routes to Glasgow, not just the 38, you know, there's a 26 that runs between Glasgow and Nethercraigs via the QAU Hospital, Govan, Renfrew and Paisley Town Centre. There's a 17 which used to travel into town via Govan and Partick that only reaches now to the QUH and the 21 that heads up to Brayhead. The Rogue 38A, X21, XP21 and all of them stuff also come through into town from Paisley. Oh, and there's also the night bus N38 too. Right. Let's head into Glasgow. McGill's, like First Bus, have heavily invested in brand new electric buses with these Yutong E12 electric buses, which I really like. One thing I'll say about them brothers and Paisley is they know how to buy some good buses, like the god tier Mercedes Benz Taurus they have on the 901 and 906, and which they used to have on the 757 to the airport. The 38 takes the exact same route between Paisley Town Centre and Glasgow City Centre. So I won't bore you off with all that stuff. But remember, out west, the 38 reaches out to Johnston Centre with the odd journey going to Kilbarchen and Spaceton too. I can't lie, I don't know how much a single is on the 38 as of now. But on the McGill's app, a return on the 38 between Paisley and Glasgow City Centre is only £3.50, which is cheaper than the 9. The 38 runs up to every 8 minutes on this route, and it takes around 40 minutes from Paisley to Glasgow. So, go in and enjoy the views into town. There you go, just watch.
and we've arrived into Glasgow City Centre being dropped off here on Hope Street. So that's me right back here in Glasgow City Centre. I've gone out to Paisley, I've come back, gone out on the 9, come back on 38. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to get back to the gaff. I'll catch you in the next video. See you in a bit.